kuhakikisha kuwa wakenya wote wanahesabiwa katika zoezi la kuhesabu watu ambalo limeingia siku ya tatu hii leo wizara ya usalama wa ndani aidha imetoa onyo kali kwa na, wanaohujumu zoezi hilo huku tayari wakenya kumi na wane wakiwa umetiwa mbaroni kwa kuhitilafiana na zoezi hilo la sensa kwenye sehemu tofauti za humu nchini Wizara ya mipango na ile ya usalama wa ndani kwa ushirikiano na asasi nyingine za serikali zinazohusika na hesabu ya watu zimetangaza kuwa muda kwa hesabu watu utaongezewa saa saa katika kaunti moja zilizo na idadi kubwa ya watu ili kuhakikisha kuwa kila mkenya anahesabiwa. Idara hizo kadhalika zimetoa nyokali kwa wale wanaohujumu mchakato huu wa kuhesabu watu na kushikilia kuwa kufanya hivyo ni kinyume cha sheria. We have agreed as the interministerial committee that uh, we will uh, extend uh, the working hours, especially in the urban areas where the populations are concentrated uh, from uh, 6 a.m. Uh, to 10 p.m. And uh, for avoidance of doubt, uh, the urban areas I'm talking about uh, Nairobi. So in Nairobi, we'll expect uh, the counting to go on from 6 a.m to 10 p.m. Nairobi, Mombasa, Nakuru, Eldoret, Kisumu, Kakamega, Nyeri, Kiambu, Thika and Machakos. We will expect uh, in those and Kisi, sorry. We will expect in those 11 areas that the counting shall take place between 6 a.m. and uh, 10 p.m. In all other areas that have not been mentioned, we have also agreed to extend uh, the enumeration period from uh, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Kando na kuongeza mdo wa kufanya kazi kwa nae sabu watu ili kukamilisha zoezi hilo upesi. Vyombo vya usalama vimeshikilia kwa usalama wa Kenya na waleo na endesha zoezi hilo umepigwa jeki zaidi na data yote inaya kusanyo imefadhiwa ipasavyo. So we, we want to assure Kenyans that uh, whether it's in Baringo, whether it is in uh, Marsabit, whether it's in Nairobi, we have all our enumerators accompanied by security agencies at all times. That Kenyans should rest assured that their data is secure because we had actually taken into consideration all issues relating to data security, I'll tell you for sure we have three sites in which we are actually storing this data and it is all replicated in the three sites. Worst case scenario is that even if we have an incident in one of the sites, there will be another site that will be able to pick up and transmission will still go on. Haya na jiri huku mwakilisho wodi ya Ilchamus Joseph Lepasalach wa moja na chifu wa lokesheni ya Salabani wa kifikisho mahakamani kujibu mashitake ya kwa chochewe nyeji kutoshiriki kwenye zoezi hilo. Mungina wanaambiwa oho, muna atoa siri zenu inje, aa, unajua sasa sukuizi ukiweka hiyo vitu kwa internet, labda serikali watawafuata, oo, oh, usize esabike kama mtu fulani, lakini anahacha ni wambie, kama sisi viongozi ambao basi tuko na siri kubwa ambayo tungeficha tumejitokeza na tumefanya kwa mjibu idara ya usalama wa ndani tayari washukiwa zaidi ya kumi wanazuiliwa na polisi katika sehemu mbalimbali za jamhuri kwa kujaribu kuvuruga zoezi hilo ambalo linatarajiwa kukamilika tarehe 31 mwezi huu Kelvin Ogome KUTV